Assalamu alaikum everybody Here is Ahmed Nasir with a new C Sharp professional tutorial In this tutorial we gonna continue our lesson about how to create a connection with database So uh, just go to Visual Studio and go to the Solution Explorer and go to your uh, you know program here we got a form here so go to this um, class library and go add okay and th th this tutorial we just gonna add a uh, uh, app config file application configuration file and this application is just basically a configuration file just gonna hold the um, the configuration, the, s the connection string that we have made in the previous tutorial. So if you go here and just type app, and uh, you gotta see application configuration uh, file. So just select that, and uh, you know, a lot of time you want to use this configuration file because uh, you know the developers prefer to put the connection string outside the code. So you just put the connection string inside the application configuration file. So this is, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, usability and reusability. Every time you just change from place to place, you just change the application configuration file. You don't change the code. So this is where the important of uh, the application configuration file. So every time we want to create uh, a new, want to transfer the database that we have to other computer, we just put, uh, as as I said before, we just put all the connection string, all the configuration in the app, app config file even if you're developing a web application or if you're developing uh, uh, you know desktop application you need an app config file so let me go here and just add so as you can see here it's refreshing and here we got app config file so that's cool so this is the root of the XML file. So app config file is just basically an XML file. So we just we need to define the connection string inside here. Okay, we just want to define the connection string inside here. So where do you want to get the connection string? Here we go. We just defined this in the previous tutorial. We just get this. Okay, and copy this uh, connection string. As you can see here, we just copy this. And we need to base this connection string into uh, the app config file. So uh, go here, and we need to define uh, tags. So these tags will be uh, the connection strings. So here we just, you know, uh, put the connection, connection strings or connection strings. You can have many connection strings. So that's why you can see here connection strings. So we choose connection strings, and after choosing the connection string, you just close the tag and automatically the Visual Studio will give you the closing for your tag so uh, just click enter in between and here we just uh, define other tag and we just add a connection string so we just add and when you want to add a connection string you just give it the name for your connection so let me name uh, put name equal let me see main and after that we need to give the connection string so automatically it suggests for me a connection string so I just click connection string and between the quotation I just paste the the connection string from uh, the you know the previous uh, connection string here uh, so I got just uh, this connection I copy it and back to the track here uh, back here just uh, paste it okay so we just paste it here so you can see here I just um, remove this to the top line above here so we need to end this tag if you go here into the last we need to end this tag so just add this so here we're done we add the, con the connection string to the database okay so save this and uh, here, we, here we're done guys we just ended with that you can copy this app config file from here and just paste it in the DAO and also paste it here no problem with that okay so 
this is this tutorial is just about the app config file in the next tutorial we're gonna test uh, know how to attach detach the database okay we gotta know how to attach and detach the database and how to uh, insert data from the SQL management uh, studio and after that we gotta make a demo how to import data how to test uh, the connection with database so we just create a connection we didn't get data from database in the next few tutorial we gotta know all that stuff uh, thank you for watching guys here's Ahmad Nasser and uh, see you later